constant rotation, it's all about the wrist. <laughs> Hey, 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 guys, um, interrupting your podcast here to bring you a fucking ad in your face, in your ears from the the, the wonderful place of Blueberry.com, B-L-U-B-R-R-Y.com. That is where you'll get all your podcast hosting, podcast statistics, or if you just need a PowerPress plugin, or you could just go through full PowerPress sites, get it all in one location, one solution, seamless integration with WordPress. Exceeding your monthly storage is not a problem with Blueberry.com. You will just get your overage included in the one price that you pay every single month month replace your archive for free print your export print everything just get it everywhere pass it out to your homies pass it out to your grandma pass it out to your mom pass it out to your dog just get everything out there but blueberry will let you do that just for one price go over there hit order now on the home page go over to the promo code type in variable v-a-r-i-a-b-l-e that is variable our promo code it'll get you one free month of premium subscriptions from blueberry.com shout out to them thank you for sponsoring this podcast boom if I had to do a poll of like what what's the worst day of the week, Josh, what would you say? Monday. But but like like can I get a can I get a little bit of a like a fuck Monday? Can we all do it together? One, two, three, fuck Monday. Well, I think Monday would lose in the pool, but personally I like it. Josh. What I what I what I'm here to tell you is that Mondays are music oriented. Music That's Mondays. That's why I like them. Ah, dude, there we go. Where do you go? You go to soundcloudcom slash rotation and get into that. Uh, where else would you go? I don't know, but that is the place where you should be. 8 a.m. every Monday, new in rotation compilation about 30 tracks. We fuck with hip hop, fuck with acoustic, fuck with all that shit. All the genres blended together every single week. Josh, one more time. Just just just. What's the worst day of the week? Not Monday. Because. Concert Rotation is bringing you all those compilations every Monday. Damn, Josh. I like that. Boom. Welcome to another In Rotation conversation. I'm here with like a whole bunch of people who aren't usually here, I would say. Jeremiah Taylor. How you doing? Addison Rice. What's up? And we got uh, we got Cam McD sitting in the back. I want to get in here say what's up. What's happening? What's happening? Um, I'm mainly here to talk to Jeremiah, get a little bit of an update. We had him in here for the first one with uh, Emilio. Um, seems like whenever we bring you through, it's just like we gotta we gotta get the gang going, get the conversation with more oh, variables. A lot of people, yeah. All day, yeah. Um, so what you been on, man? Like, what what have you honestly been up to? I feel like you've been doing a lot of work in different states. You've been making some bangers with Drummer Boy, collabing with uh, Lashawn Ellis, J E Steven. Um, you got a show coming up on the seventh of September. Yep. What else? Eighth. 8th, 8th of September. 8th of September. Uh, I've just been working on my project, What Happened to Jeremy. Um, it's going to be my first project on Spotify and iTunes and all those outlets. Um, I've been working with Addison in the studio with some people in the industry. And um, we've just been trying to make the dream happen. And your most recent song was Ryder, correct? Uh, right now. I just, yeah. I just dropped right now. Uh eight days ago or something like that okay yeah i just dropped that what um what's what's next as far as the the studio time and with addison and you guys have been cooking up some stuff what's the what's the new direction do you feel like you dropped a website recently mm -hmm. you had um now you have some new management i i, I think from mm -hmm. what i've been hearing i just haven't talked to you in a little bit so yeah, yeah. what um What's the new direction that you feel like you're going on with this new website new networking uh new conversations that you're having with people um, I, uh, I'm just trying to get into the industry part of things. Uh, I got CL, who's my, um, my manager. I have Derek, too. It's like, uh, it's all a weird thing, but, um, CL, he's a really good dude. Uh, he's pushing me to be more, uh, professional and, uh, really build my brand as Jeremiah Taylor. Um, and we're working hard on that. Um, he manages LaShawn Ellis and Johnny Rain as well. So I mean, he has acts that are already uh, in the in the game doing things and doing numbers and things. So uh, he, we're really just pushing uh, to be more more than uh, what we are right now, mm -hmm. and and glow, hit yeah. the glow up. What's the struggle when you come from, you know, doing a lot of songs in your house and you know collabing with a lot of local people, but now taking the level to being in a higher grade studio and you know getting other people involved in the conversations of a. Uh, you know what your direction is and you know it's not just you having the, the making the shots anymore there's a lot of other people involved i think uh my biggest problem is not mixing myself uh -huh. like not being able to choose completely how i want it to sound like <clears throat> i obviously have my input and if i want it a certain way i'm probably going to get it that way hopefully 
But um, it's weird not sitting down and working on my own project, you know? Because, like, you don't know how it's exactly going to turn out. Because you were always, uh, like, engineering for art. Yeah. And, uh, like, everybody else that you just grew yeah, up Yeah, I was a studio guy, guy for a while, and then I, I decided that it was uh, my time to be on stage and uh, be that voice you hear. Yeah, and it's obviously been working out. It's actually working out a lot better than a lot of people expected. Uh, myself as well. If you could give, like, not a fuck the haters, but maybe, like, a little bit more, like... Uh, fuck my ex. Okay. She ain't believing it, and now we're on uh, the biggest blogs in the United States. Hell yeah. And, uh... Talk about some of those blogs. What's the love that you've been getting? I mean... Um... University Hype was my first blog, and they stay showing love. Uh, they keep booking me for shows. We turn that bitch upside down when we're in there. I mean, you've been mm -hmm. like I, I've, I've I'm going next I time crowd surf 150 times. My energy's off the fucking charts, and that's that just whole, how you got. That whole lineup was just off the top. Yeah, low key was on the beats, dude. Yeah. Just spinning records. It was a that good shit time. was that shit was crazy. But um, they they show me they show me a lot of love. But uh, one of the bigger bigger blogs that's been fucking with me is Swaggy Tracks. Uh, I'm sure people have heard of them. They um. They put me on, man. They like, well, they they've been helping me a lot, um, giving my audience a broader horizon. Like, I've been growing. Uh, they're based out of Canada, so a lot. Canada has been showing me a lot of love. LA has been showing me a lot of love. Um, I I just it's been growing. Like, I used to you know begin two hundred plays in a week, and I'm knocking out twenty thousand in a week now. Or you know, and it's just all it's overwhelming because it's uh, I realize how fast paced the industry is, but. I got CL behind me, and um, we're just gonna do this thing, like you know, however we can. So, what's the relationship with CL been like since he's come into the project? Uh, like it's been, it's been. I don't know how to explain it. It's been really well, but like, mm. we're not pushing anything too hard right away. Um, Is it important to let that like grow organically? And a hundred percent. Like, that's why I'm trying to have CL and Derek because. It, like that's my vision is like that would be the best organically um, because I've known Derek for a long time and I haven't known CL that long but we've been in talks for a, like a, probably a year I don't know if you ever heard of 6J Records um, yeah I have, I've heard of them yeah yeah well that's that was CL can you like, give a little bit of background yeah on like what he does and uh, CL does now. a lot man yeah, I, I can't know even I can't even talk like I don't want to talk and be like give like a, a real quick what is he to you at least he's like, my he's my manager yeah yeah he's like he he, he handle all like the emails and like the booking side of stuff uh, pr PR booking well booking is I'm hoping through Derek but um he handles my PR my branding um, getting me on uh, big websites like Hype Track, yeah. Hot New Hip Hop, um, all the places you Pigeons want. and Planes, like those upscale ones, and um, yeah, man, getting me uh, in front of labels and stuff like that, getting me in front of the right people. So what's the? So you've been collabing with Addison a lot. Maybe if you guys could talk about not necessarily what you've been <laughs> doing. That's hella under wraps. We gotta keep that for the for the right time at the the yeah. right place you know what i mean but what's what, maybe in addison's eyes how is it working with Jer jeremiah on like a not only like a friendship level but like maybe a, a writing partner in a sense because you guys are like the two straight up singers r&b mixed with this hip-hop style you know what i mean you guys both can be very versatile in a way that isn't just going over a beat in a different like uh like pedigree and stuff he's definitely the better singer i will just throw that out there right now well it's all different like yeah but you know this is very different the vocals <laughs> He has a crazy falsetto for sure. But what is like you guys getting in a studio? What is that like as far as uh, just the dynamics between you guys? Well, it's fun. Like. Um, the last time we went, it was pretty fun. It's he has a very good on the on the top. Like I'm, pr I'm better at writing shit. I'm not good at off the top shit. He are you still not writing, Jeremiah? We last we checked, no, no, I still don't <laughs> no. write. <laughs> You're just sitting there freestyling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that it works too. Oh, no, like, yeah, yeah, that wasn't a negative at all. It was yeah, just, I, no, I it's don't. very different. I, I would assume, as far as like, do you guys go in with a with a track in mind, or is it like from mm -mm. point A, we're just trying to create something organically? It was just, just organic. Happened. Just it just went. So is it? Just like, went oh, in. you guys already made a track. It's our. We all made one. Yeah, we're just waiting for it to be mixed and mastered and all nice, that. Nice, but nice. yeah, the engineer uh, dude from Warner, he's just we're waiting to get it back from him. So you guys were in that nice studio. That's where the pictures were. We saw them on Instagram. Um, you guys also made burbs together. On a, yeah. 
this is the year. Burbs is no longer up. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. But that does exist. It yeah. does exist. Uh, there was a whole plot behind why it's not up. Mm-hmm. Uh, it will be all that whole, all my old music that was part of my two first projects uh, will be available for download on my website. Gotcha. But not on the SoundCloud. We don't want to flutter that too much. Too. There's a lot going out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But when you guys were recording in your bedroom to getting in a nicer studio besides the equipment, mm-hmm. was there anything that changed or was it... Well, was Burbs, it we weren't even together. Yeah. He, oh, really? he just He's like, I have this song with an open verse. Do you want to try something? I was like, yeah, okay. So that's like your whole relationship with Drummer Boy as well, just via email, and you guys FaceTime all the time. I've seen that all the time. Drummer Boy. Literally 20 minutes, it'll be like five minute conversation, 10 minute conversation, 20 minutes later. Um, and that whole dynamic doesn't really come across in the music, obviously, because it, you know, I've been saying this a lot, but like you wouldn't be able to tell if you guys weren't in the room or were in the room. Like it's mm-hmm. just so seamless. You guys have a relationship, a dynamic within a, like there's a dichotomy to how you guys go about tracks. And it just fits well, and it, it serves, you know, I mean, you see the results, like, it, it obviously serves as each other uh, properly, and um, how is, how is, is a lot of your relationships um, via email, or do you like to meet up with the person when you go into a track with someone? Is that for me or him? Uh, both, I mean, whatever, yeah, for you or him? Um, I personally don't know, it just, whatever happens and flows, I'm, I'm cool with, man, like, um, I guess I, the only person you can ask right now is Addison, but we're, I'm super easy to work with. Like we just, it's just like let's yeah, get stoned mm-hmm. and vibe out. That's how it happened. But um, I, I just like working with whoever, man. I, I'm always open. Like I find artists that are like getting 200 plays on tracks, and I'm like, yo, you're dope as fuck. Mm-hmm. Like, do you want to get on a song? Like mm-hmm. it doesn't matter to me. I just want to create good music and and play some shows. Like my main focus right now is like putting out my project. And just playing sh- shows, going on tour. Um, I got a few people, uh, big big names that I might be touring with. And um, dream features. Do you look at it that way, or is it more like whatever comes and whatever fits? The yeah, song, right? whatever sure fits. But like I I will pick who is gonna be on it. Like you know, like obviously. But I get people hit me up for features. I don't really do them. I know that sounds like a dickhead thing, but like I I don't really like doing features on other people's songs because like unless it's like the homie and i can vibe out easily because then you're forced to be some type of vibe you know like yeah. you are already f- stuck in that so i just do my own thing I- i'm actually doing a lot of singles because i got a lot of like hey dude you're doing too many songs with other people on them mm. you know because i was just i was vibing yeah. it was like to bring two <clears throat> different aspects to a song so that was cool man uh but now it's all singles uh. Yeah, all, except I might have a, a track or two. Like I'm gonna release this track with Addison, when I, or like it's mostly it's just a collab. It's just Jeremiah Taylor, Addison Rice. Like there's no featuring. It's just that. So um, whenever we get that back, I want to drop that because that's very different from what people have heard from us. Like, yeah. Very different. What what it, what is that and what like st- like sound wise or just how you guys like e- everything everything is yeah. super everything. different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll show you after. Okay, cool. Um, the rough, the rough, very, the very, very rough. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Um, what I think is interesting is to see you. Um, I don't know. I guess mature in a weird way, like mm-hmm. to see how the difference between you sitting here with Amelia and like talking about that show and like there was just like you were talking about. You're just having fun. You're just wilding. You're doing mm-hmm. tracks with everybody, doing what you can. And now there's like a very different different like vibe it's very yeah. focused and I, I respect it very much so I, <laughs> thanks for taking the time out yeah, you got a really fresh smile it's but. about business now i mean it's all fun but uh, i'm trying to make a living if possible like uh i got people looking at me even though like the the plays aren't in the hundred thousands you know or like i people believe in me the right people so it just you know when going into situations like that, is it always quantity over quality, or is it quality? Speaking? Quality all day over quantity. Yeah, I'm only I I'm only gonna put out a four to five song project. No point, no point yeah. to do that crazy. Like I hope this sounds lit, or like ah this one I kind of just yeah nah. Are you, you think I'll start with more than five though? Like and then cut? Or? <laughs> I'll probably I'll probably everything Young <laughs> Thug does is like eight tracks every. Young yeah. Thug album and shit. Yeah. Which is like he doesn't need eight or nine either. tracks. But he has like a thousand billion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I haven't heard Jeffrey yet though. I haven't heard it yet either. I was gonna play it this morning. We had like a little meeting with the all the consultation podcast people. Shout out to them. But um Shout out to Alex. Emilio? Yeah, shout out to Alex, shout out to Matt, shout out to Josh, shout out to Kyle, all them. Um 
Emilio. Mm-hmm. What, what, when is he coming down? I heard he's going to be in town soon. I, I heard that was a rumor. It's Maybe not. Yeah, I mean, it's twice. not a rumor. He's it's coming. not. He's coming. I didn't. I didn't. It was going to be a surprise. But whoever hears this, it's not a surprise anymore. But um, I have a show with Krush, who's fucking dope. Uh-huh. Uh, on the eighth, I'm direct support for him uh, for his university hype show, 21 plus. Sorry, youngins. Mm. And um, he's coming down to perform Shotgun with me. That's the banger, so. That is the banger. Every time it comes on, I still get, like, in my car. It, yeah, whoever's sure. next to me at the light is probably laughing their ass off. But yeah, man. They just so don't have the He's coming hits. down. He's coming down for that. I had to. I had to get him in. I just love when he comes out here, man. It's like, you know, he's a family, so. Obviously, yeah. yeah. He's just, he's the best, man. But uh, I'm on Operation Get Drummer Boy out here. That's my biggest. So he's got merch. Um, That's through a Spreadshirt, right? What yeah, is I don't through? know exactly what it's Let's on. Let's find that. Um, but uh, Talk about what he's kind of, the doc, like, the, the workings between you guys and how it may have progressed in, you know, yeah. a good two months since we've been in here. Minus the engineering part because I do all that myself, like, yeah. with vocals and stuff. He's my 40, man. Like, that. he's my 40. He he, uh, he created my sound. Like, Drummer Boy created my sound, like, beats-wise. I just, like, there's no Jeremiah Taylor without Drummer Boy. Like, on this project, I'm working with a few other producers, but, like, Cold Blood I've worked with before. Drummer Boy and Cold Blood do shit together. Like, those are my two mains is Cold Blood and Drummer Boy. Like, uh, I have this dude, Fly Blimp, who sent me a beat. It's hard, so I, I just went over it. But, um, yeah, Drummer Boy and Cold Blood, man. I don't really, like, it sounds fucked up, but, like, I don't really like expanding my circle. The circle doesn't need to be huge. Yeah. Like, just grow up and glow up with the people who fuck with you from the beginning. And Drummer Boy has been producing for me for free. Like, hasn't asked for a damn thing. So, just, he just fucks with me. And, and that, now look how it's paying off. Yeah, 100%. That's, like purely because he believes in what, mm-hmm. what you guys are doing here yeah, and man. it's shop.spreadshirt.com slash drummer boy um d-r-v-m-r-b-o-y drummer boy um go buy like what there's underwear for your for your chick there's fucking yeah get there's that phone cases uh some shirts the some phone cases shirts. are hard drummer boy logo is tight so mm-hmm. you know I mean? 100% yeah um and he's been making money off that YouTube that's the best part yeah. like that was the best news of the week it, personally it, yeah. yeah no I'm it was just part. cool um, but I don't know. I feel like the um the whole the whole get him to California. That's gonna be the 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 real reward at the mm-hmm. end of it. Like, how long have you guys been talking about this? You think a long time, man. My phone is gonna die. But uh, a long time because Philadelphia is a long ways away uh-huh. from here, and um, dude just needs to come out here. <laughs> Philadelphia is not the place for Yeah, just make the leap or... <laughs> yeah, because I honestly believe, like... He's planted it out. I though. told him, too, like, you know, besides working with me, um, he could work for it. Dude, his beats are disgusting. So if he just found someone already big and sold one beat, he'd be set, you know? Just... He's talented, man. Very fucking talented. He makes those beats within 20 minutes. Like, we work fast. So we can have, like, a whole... I could hold, do a whole mixtape in a day. Damn. If I wanted to. Yeah. No, literally. I mean, when I came over that last time, like, it made was three like songs, three songs in, an in, an, in an hour. <laughs> yeah, they all slapped. <laughs> yeah, they all made the day. Like, they were all cool. Um, so, has it been hard for you to maybe take your time and, like, maybe instead of chugging out three in a day, maybe just focus on that half of one and then sp- or just one? Or no, that's I, still, I still knock them out quick. You got to? It's just how I work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, like, I don't know if you ever heard of Nestle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he does the same shit, like... It's, it's a mix and go process so like you i record like my hook and then i'll mix it completely and then i know how that's gonna sound and then i'll mix i'll do one verse i'll mix it completely so i know exactly how everything's gonna sound so it's like there's no guessing you know like oh i hope this sounds good at the end of this you know nah that's i mean then i know exactly what i'm getting and i don't have to waste my time oh like this isn't gonna make the cut it didn't sound the way i wanted it to like now i know how it sounds don't have to play around let's get it done hell yeah um is that is it have you ever tried writing <laughs> or is that just not like your, yeah like even when you started like when you started like you know when mm-hmm. you became the jeremiah taylor i wrote did, how, how yeah did that my first three th- songs i wrote but I, I um the more drugs i started doing the less i wanted to write yeah my mom was just it like, all came up there. yeah she was ready to some go weird shit but um you still having seances dreaming yeah dreaming i don't do drugs anymore though just in case anyone was wondering why is that what what is what is the what is the relationship with drugs been like for um, taylor 
Jer- Jeremiah Taylor. We had, that, we had that shrooms drop at the, the last episode. Yeah, that, dude, that, shrooms that was gnarly drop. as fuck. It was a quick little quip, and then we, we moved on. Shrooms is crazy, but uh, I, I don't know. It's my I, bad for asking about the interview. That yeah, I off. fucked with Xanax a lot. That New shit's heroin. Whack as fuck. Don't pop Xanax. I had this whole, like, I hope my mom doesn't hear this, but she hears everything I do. Sorry, mom. Shout out to Jeremiah Taylor's mom. She's a squad Thanks mom. She play. supports all of us. Of course. But um, I uh, I had this one week, and this is like gnarly. I had this one week where I was popping like five bars a day, so I don't remember my whole week. And like, I just had random flashes of back to life. And I woke up in my homie's bed rubbing this chick's pussy. And then like, we started making out, and then I just blacked out again like five <laughs> seconds later. And then I woke up in my bed, and it, I thought I, we started on Tuesday, and I woke up in my bed on Friday. Fuck. <laughs> what were the days after? Like, did we, did you? Th- I I chill. Yeah. I played I played Xbox. Is well, Xbox and drugs? Fucking like rough, the, man. Yeah. Xbox is my number one thing. Is that your new? I'm drug? a huge video game nerd on the low. Xbox is a drug. Um, I don't tell the hoes that, but I I I, I, f- I fucking love Xbox. Yeah. Yeah. Jeremiah Taylor X is my gamer tag. If anyone want to get that ass whooped in 2K, UFC, the division, I don't play FIFA. <laughs> You don't? Why? Nah. Uh, don't MXGP. I mean, I just, did you never watch it, Watch soccer? Or did you ever I played play soccer? I played club. Oh, I traveled. Okay. Yeah, I was good. I don't know. It just doesn't come across. Do you like anymore. NHL? Or is it the... I played hockey, too. I played everything. Oh, okay. I cool. wanted to... I never wanted to be one thing. I still want to be everything. So what is that, that like, uh, lifetime goal layout plan? Like, if, Who the if, fuck knows? But if you could pick like something else other than rap, once your rap career is figured out, do you want to like go on TV? You want to maybe like write nah, a book? I'm or? not. I'm not one for TV. Like, I just watch Netflix, which is not even like I just watch cartoons. But I want to host a game show. Yeah, that'd be lit. That'd be dope, dude. Uh, if I could do anything after music, it'd probably be like business wise. I would love to be an entrepreneur and something. Maybe be like the Beats by Dre of gaming headphones. Oh, okay. Fuck Astro. Fuck a- Astro is like, yeah, if you could bring down that cost and bring it to the, like, common yeah, consumer, I don't know, that dude. would help out. Maybe I'll breed French Bulldogs. That's a, that's <laughs> a You know, who knows what I'm going to do. There's fucking money in there, dude. I'm 22. I, I don't know. You want to travel a lot, maybe? I lo- Well, I mean, I travel so much already, it's kind of like, I'm burnt on it. I just really want to spend time with my family for a little bit before, like, I go on tour and shit. And then we're just gonna keep seeing what happens from there. If I could continually, like, continuously write for people, maybe. Yeah. Like, I would just love to write music for people. Like, because when I write, it's, it's quite good. Mm. You know, like, it's a lot more thought out, a lot more in depth of a story or a situation or whatever. So, probably write for people. Yeah, probably. That'd be sick. Dope. Um, so, you mentioned you travel a lot. Mm-hmm. Where. Like, so you travel a lot of the, like, continental ma- United States? or where Yeah, you, all like, in the U.S. Everything's in the U.S. so far. So, out of all the cities that you've seen, is there one that you maybe you want to, like, gra- like, you gravitated towards? Like, that you maybe just like the vibe, maybe not for long-term or short-term? Yeah, dude, if I could have... Uh, people probably, say there's, like, good cities for one night, and then there's good cities for the rest of your life. I'll you probably know? lay up in Michigan or Wisconsin one day. That's, like, that. if I could just post up when I'm older, I'd probably be back there. I like it a lot. It's beautiful. Very green. What's the vibe like with like the culture and this is like it's different there. from like me like i get shit on all the time people are like oh dude you're wearing tight pants like yeah i'll fuck your bitch too <laughs> just kidding I, I i probably won't i'm a nice guy but um i don't know dude i really just like i really like it back there because it's so quiet and then out here it's so overpopulated and you always hear some bullshit's going on and like everyone in it's california to get is caught up egotistical here. mainly like to a, like a real extent not just fucking around and very materialistic like i used to, I, I stopped buying vape and supreme because i was like why am i wasting my money on this expensive ass t-shirt that i can make for six bucks you know word like things like that like i don't know i just grew up after shrooms why, why do you think that happened do, do, do you think it lit it like do you define it as like a your mind unlocked or is it like yeah you just you, you saw a different perspective and like, uh, i saw a lot of shit yeah like i saw a lot of shit i faced a lot of things mentally we had a phone call yeah during that shit and that shit was hilarious that was the best you're yeah like dude on, I, I had you're a, on some rock or something i don't know man i was i was listening to marley on a rock for three hours just tripping <laughs> 
But um, it was a beautiful thing, man. Marley, Sue's the soul. But uh, I don't know, dude. I had like I I I had a, like a real bad problem with pills for a second, and like a lot of other things. Like I was just fucking doing anything, like drinking the potion, dropping zannies and perks, and lean into the fantas and just going for it. Like I was immortal. And then I, uh, it's kind of personal, but like I, uh, me and my parents and my brother weren't close anymore. Cause I, I was turning into a whole different person and uh i did shrooms and i remember like coming to my front door when i was still tripping and like it was like opening a whole new life that's crazy <laughs> that sounds trippy man that's but crazy. like no, it, it definitely like happened like that like i felt like i was opening a whole new door because i was tired of the person i was being like you know you kind of lose yourself when you're not doing something and I had a lot of money from work that I saved up, and I was just doing, being young, dumb, and full of cum. Are you still full of cum? Is there any, like, medical shit that you want to talk about? No, we're good, but okay. uh, I just don't really fuck with the women out here. Is it, like, uh, why, why do people say that? Is it just the, is, is it the water? Or is it the, <laughs> the fucking, that we have too many fucking I targets? Fiji. I mean, yeah, but we don't uh, like us in the water. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know, shit. dude. It's just not for me. Can't I've been here for seven years now, and I think that's why you get tired of the same piece of ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And plus, like, I'm ready. Like, I, Jeremiah's ready to... I said this on the last podcast, and then I went full dog. But uh, I'm ready I'm ready to, like, have something tight with a chick instead of just, like, trying to fuck around with some chick for a night and be like, oh, who's next? Like, mm-hmm. I'd rather, I, I don't know. I want a half-white, half-Asian thing. <laughs> or half white, half Latina, and then we'll be set. Just having someone else in like a like close to you in a relationship setting, like maybe get in the way, or does it? It helps. It, it, it helps. I have, like I don't know. For where me, do you find your inspiration? I don't think I've ever asked you that. Like I don't fucking know. You don't. It's just kind of <laughs> no. it's just I'm just so weird mentally, dude. Like half the time, I'm wondering if like what I'm doing is real. You know, like I'd be tripping all the time about random shit. So the growth has been good. The growth has been fantastic. The plays have been solid. The, the talks have been great. Everything, dude, that's what I'm saying. Like, everything's been crazy, man. Is there anything you want to, like, maybe improve on? Not not with yourself, necessarily. Like, oh, I'm not doing good on this. But, like, as far as you want to see more of a result from a certain aspect, it doesn't have to be music. Hell, you just want to get to the gym more. You just want to, you know. I want to get to the gym more. I didn't mean to. No, you can't. You can't uh, that's one thing, though, for real. I want to get as big as Addison. <laughs> um, not as big, maybe, though. Work hard, play hard. In the, in the, Honestly, in the man, what I want to progress in is, like, becoming an adult mm-hmm. more. Like, um, and you know it's costly out here to live on your own in California. It's, even with a roommate, you know how much this shit costs. But I like I want to get my own place, man. Like it's crazy, but ever since I got a puppy, I've matured a lot because it's like being a fucking dad. <laughs> and it's like it's like I gotta put something in front of myself, and I think that's what I've needed for a while because like I'm I was very selfish for a long time. Yeah, it's like doing whatever, being reckless, like. It's all about me, but it's not. Everything, everyone's... Every- it's like the reckless chick getting, like, pregnant after high school, and everyone's like, oh, she can't be a, like, a yeah, kid. Yeah, and then but it, then it, she it turns you out to kid, be yeah. something better than you. Yeah. It, I, I realize, like, living for something but yourself is, like, the way to go. And Shrooms made me realize that. Yeah. Shrooms opened my third eye. So, is... It- Damn, that was super cliche, bro. Come on. Yeah. It, 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 that's it? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> I can't, well, I, well, you know how it is. I wish I could explain to you everything I went through, but... Oh, I, no, I, I, I don't want to It's a scrambled mind to the, to the max. I'm going to keep my third eye closed. I, I just shut it again. Fuck. That, we've we've had some rough times in that yeah. scenario. So. Yeah. For me personally and our friend group, I, I could say. <laughs> Definitely. Um, yeah, man. So, uh, like, I just had, the, like, the question. Oh, Art, Art Watson. Yes. That is your your day one homie. That is day one. That's my blood. I mean, he's not blood, but that's my brother. He's like, our artist of the week this week. Our like the article just he went be live. He's the artist. Everyone. Yeah. Name. Fuck yeah. Every day, Art Watson. That's yeah, all you he's, need. Uh, he's the best rapper I ever heard, and I'll put that. I will honestly say that because dude's voice is different, but just the way he raps is so tight. Like it's so weird. It is weird. It's and like so we just put out that song uh, "Empire Freestyle" yeah. today that dropped at like 10 a.m. That's and like I like it, but it's not my favorite. I, I oh, it's not the best Art Watson song because there's no, so many best Art Watson uh, songs out there. The pick. old Art Watson, he knows this. I'll say this on radio. I'll say this wherever he knows this. Old Art Watson, old Artie is my favorite dude. Um, Blue and silver. 
Nah. Blue and silver. <laughs> nah, blue and silver. <laughs> I recorded that too. I don't want to engineer that. Um, Fuck. That was a whole. F- were you on that? Nah, I just okay. recorded it. All right. But um, <laughs> some whack people were on it besides Arden. But um, I like Disney and Hennessy. Mm-hmm. Or his Rough Drafts mixtape was my favorite thing he's ever made. Like I literally listened to that. I all slept time. on hella hard too. Super slept mm-hmm. on Disney and Hennessy. Um, Oceania Viale is my favorite song he's ever made. Me too. It's so vibe. That and um, fuck uh, bank. Uh, yeah, no bank. bank. Yeah, yeah, no bank. That that's that's probably my favorite. Yes, yeah, the I, way he goes in that track is just so. But well, he he's smart. exploring himself like as an mm-hmm. artist, which you have to do. Like I made some whack shit y'all never heard. Some whack shit. Like when I think I can just go off and spit a hard sixteen the same fuck everybody, and then I listen to it like, nah, dude, you're not a rapper. Yeah. <laughs> It's hard to like. Do you find it not necessarily hard, but it, it's important to keep it real? And yeah, because like, I'm not gonna be out here like I'm trapping, I'm shooting this, I'm fucking like I know that's the the scene right now. Do you, do you, not names, but like, do you meet people sometimes like just day and day like just SoundCloud what you've rappers? Been doing? Yeah, the SoundCloud rappers. Yeah, I know like, a bunch of SoundCloud everyone's rappers. Everyone's just like that's why I make R and B music mm-hmm. or like you know just talk about women. Mm-hmm. That's cause that's all I know. Like I've been through a lot of relationships, all failed. So I could talk about that shit. Do you look back and it's all like a positive? Oh yeah, yeah. Now, cause it's, oh yeah, it's I would have been married and shit at eighteen and stuff, and like I'm glad that didn't happen. You know. You're gonna be. You were almost married. Yeah, I almost proposed. That's gonna be I the. Had, like, that's I the had headline. The picked out. I had everything ready to go. She was Mormon, so like. She's Fresh. pregnant now. She's. Were well, you gonna convert? Are you, what's your thing with religion? What is? What is? What's your? Uh, do you have? I believe like, in God, preference? but I'm not a. I don't. There's nothing to me. I just believe in God. Got you. Got a relationship with him. That's it. That's beautiful. Yeah, it doesn't need to be more than that. Mm. You know, I don't push nothing on nobody. Like, do you? I I didn't believe in God for a long time, a long time, and then I went to church and my life changed. Yeah. Do you still go to church as much as you can? As I can, yeah. I, it's very hard for me. Have but like it, the, the way I did church was kind of fucked because I pop like two zannies and we all go to church. Oh whoa, what? That that's some that's some crazy shit. How, how's church on on Xanax? Very calm. Yeah. <laughs> very relaxed. But it'd be me McFly, like all the homies would just pop a Zan <laughs> and go to church. <laughs> and go to Buffalo Wild Wings after. That that's that's a Sunday. That's a day to day. No, it's a Wednesday. <laughs> oh Wednesday. And we go bad. to like the younger people church, the young adult church. Got you. A lot of bad light skinned girls there. But I don't know how to approach them. <laughs> yeah, church, you know? Like, hey, What's your pickup line, dude? Do you got one? You no, got one dude, I'm so, I can't talk to women. I'm scared, dude. Do you, you just hit play and then you I'm just not confident that? in myself unless I'm playing. My, when I, okay, when I'm Jeremy, yeah. not confident. When Jeremiah comes out, it's lit. Yeah. <laughs> it's super tight. There once was a lad who never had music. Then he went on to SoundCloud. Then he found constant rotation. Then he knew that he had the fucking plug for the hottest shit that you've ever heard. Yeah, constant rotation, in rotation, compilation. Head on over there. Every Monday we got the hottest shit. You like the Kato's, you like the Jeremiah Taylor's, you like the Dylan Ponders, you like the Emilio Paredes. Everyone fucks with that shit. Don't fuck around. Go over there. Do me a favor. Do us a favor. Do your dog a favor. Do your grandma a flavor. A flavor? Yeah, give her a flavor, dude. No, do her a favor. Send her the link, soundcloud.com slash constant rotation, new and rotation compilations every Monday. Do that shit uh, now. Uh, uh, Dude. Yeah. Damn. So, so have you ever just whipped out your phone and just went to SoundCloud and just press play? And drunk just, Jeremy. Drunk Jeremy. <laughs> that's what I'm getting. Because I, I love Drunk Jeremy on Twitter. Because it's like, I'm in the most, I'm in Nebraska. It's fucking 3 a.m. There's nothing to do but get fucking trash. So here I am. Like, yeah. You know I, mean? and like, I, get fucked I feel up like there's some cool ass, like, uh, uh, endeavors that you catch yourself in sometimes. It's weird. I live a whole different life that no one knows about. Like, my work life is weird. Like, it's what do you can you want to talk about what you do maybe just off like a i uh i build racetracks for professional truck racing series uh, it's good. lit uh i run heavy equipment it's tight uh, my dad's like one of the best in the world and that's not coming from me that's literally a fact so i learned from him and i didn't know what i wanted to do out of high school so he's like come on the road and uh it's tight man i got a lot of stories i met a lot of good people like now one of my best friends he lives in michigan and he pushes my music hard out there. Like I'm playing a show at Central Michigan University. Oh, that's sick, so, man! So like, and um, I'm gonna. Play I think I've seen the the video of like a, a frat party. Yeah, or it's like, like a, t- a, a tailgate. Seven hundred fifty people bumping mm-hmm. my mixtape. Yeah, yeah, all in a all at a football game. Yeah. That's what it was. Though. Yeah, they support me hard, dude. Uh, they they push me back there hard as fuck. Have you seen any like you know SoundCloud will break down the cities? I don't know if you st- like you still yeah. have the pro or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> you know what's crazy is my most popping cities here. Yeah. Yeah. But y'all fucking don't act like you're behind me. Sometimes. But, I uh, that, yeah. yeah, but, uh, yeah, it's here. 
my most plays are here and i i mean that's because i i mean not i get a good amount of plays now so yeah the, the fact that it's still here is tight i was gonna ask international plays like is there any cities that you see that just randomly where you're the just UK, like i'm way canada where? yeah that's canada what I get fucks too. with me heavy heavy like 50 50 u.s canada huh yeah that's dope man i um, think because i kind of got that sound in a, in a way but not to the full extent and th- do you feel like um you could tell like the canadian fans on twitter or is there any way to tell that shit and like it's i just- can't tell on twitter but um i got some canadian homies actually that like make music like um the whole p- uh people and places movement out there oh okay like uh i know exactly i'm not really homies with brick grillins but like i've hit him up he's like, i fuck with brick he's so different mm-hmm. dude and hard as fuck and uh, I don't know how to say his name. Sometimes I get it wrong because it's it's like Zech, Z C E C H, Zech Royalty. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he that's the homie. I, I wish I knew his real name, but he fucks with me heavy, and uh, I fuck with him. And he's fucked with me since the beginning. Music that wasn't as good, so we should do a song together. But I told him I want to come out to Toronto and do a show with them because they're playing shows and they shut that shit down. They Toronto's run that lit, shit. Man. Toronto's, Toronto's crazy You got Dylan Ponders out there That's who you should link up with When you're out there He's man. too I, I just, he's Link up dope. with Dylan I, dude Link I up with Dylan I him But I, I, I don't know if a song with him would Dude His Acid Rain album Is gonna fucking Slap everybody in the face With some I know you're a super fan Dude I'm a super fan of Dylan I'm not even afraid to, afraid no, to say I that No I think it's Daddy's dope, the God, You dude. put me on He's, he's hard He's on. so hard You know what I mean He's like I, You've seen like this Hardcore and like Screamo like Thing with like Kill Station I've sure seen that and like river cannon no nah, those aren't though they're, they're, they're tight like their genre is tight yeah. but we're from the actual screamo world yeah like we were both in screamo bands before this whole thing that's how you guys met originally yeah like, at like way 13 back in like seventh grade right yeah, yeah. i was yeah. like 12 years old or something what's, like what's, that how'd you go from that to to, to the hip-hop r&b scene well, i think both of us love justin timberlake oh i love justin timberlake i think it was, it was cameron that put me on to to like good hip hop like you showed me Action Bronson back in the day and yeah Ken what was your first uh, rap album that you purchased oh that's, that's a hard, good man. question uh, wasn't it like the black album or yeah it was like the black yeah. album yep, yep. Yeah, and like, yeah well, I didn't even purchase it personally I got it gifted to me by my older brother Ryan yeah it was the edited version cause my parents <laughs> didn't fuck with the, the, cu- the cuss words <laughs> that was yeah. my problem exactly yeah yeah <laughs> I, I was on like a road trip I remember distinctly like listening to that shit like censored and I was like damn what this shit's hard here album? bro it's dope yeah that was the first one cause like mine was like I'm not a human being and like that's like old old is like it gets but I wanted to oh, date when you started getting into hip hop yeah. and how that correlated into Addy's like actually coming in seventh grade the Carter three that's what put me on Carter three's dope that's as what hell. put me on that, that type of music going back though I didn't listen to rap you showed me no 16. ceilings and like <laughs> Asher Roth and like that type of stuff yeah. but the first purchase was that but my first purchase was Carter three that's that was dope, a, man. Oh, that's dope that's early too for your age too that's pretty good I was like that's the right time to get into it 11 years old maybe Dude, I, I was in high I school 10 I don't even remember I don't think I ever bought one yeah I mean we grew up in the internet age too We're I bought Hooba yeah. Stank C and Three Hoobastank. Doors Down <laughs> yeah it's, it's a little different <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's crazy. oh Three Days Grace was the shit man. yeah, yeah dude, Evanescence and shit yeah. Oh, <laughs> but dude I didn't listen to rap until I was like 16 yeah. actually I didn't okay. listen to rap until I met Artie okay like rap I, I'm, everyone has that friend man everything's R&B for me mm-hmm. it was all Genuine and Usher and um Frankie and who who, who else dude Bobby Valentino Pretty Ricky, all of them. That's uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire is my, my favorite music ever, though. That's so, just and Frank Sinatra. Pure music. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's my favorite ever. John Mayer is the best, in my opinion. Hey. John yeah, who, who's your guys' is like? Do you have like a, a a singer that you guys aspire to when you were younger? Like when I was just younger, the, like, Justin maybe, Timberlake. Well, Justin Timberlake for you, if you could pick one, Addison. I it was probably. It's John Mayer and Justin Timberlake for me. Yeah, those, that's those funny because I did a slow dancing in a burning room cover. It's like the first time I ever hit 10,000 plays and I freaked out. What was that? What are, what are some early SoundCloud memories or milestones that MySpace. you can remember? MySpace. MySpace? MySpace? Oh, shit. That was MySpace? I mean, I've mean, I been making music since I was 14. Oh, shit. Okay. I mean, it I knew that, trash, but though. we were just talking about the Screamo stuff. Oh, yeah, dude. You could still pull up my band on SoundCloud. <laughs> I mean, uh, on YouTube. Love Under Arms. <laughs> Love Under Arms. Yeah. Yeah. It was a, it was late, dude. We played a lot of sick shows. Is there going to be a tour soon for Love Under oh, Arms? Yeah, I remember that. Nah. If I would ever make a band again, it would be with Addison, and we'd be like 2 a.m. club. That's fun. <laughs> we're yeah, be fresh. We were, we were super stoned at the studio with the, the Warner dudes, and we were talking about that. 
I, I want to, if in all honesty, I would, I would probably want to drop a dual mixtape with Addison. That'd be fresh. That'd be. What was it like? Yeah, that would just be insane. Honestly, would, would Drummer Boy produce some some shit? Like, so I want some like Foster the People type shit. Oh, okay. But us rap and sing over it. Yeah, like some uh, indie shit. I want to make oh, some yeah. Anderson Pack shit. That's yeah, kind of what I've been. Yeah, that'd be tight too. What have you been on, Addison? Let's let's talk about your hiatus for the for the the ladies out there. You you've been you <laughs> yeah, know, the ladies. You've been, uh, we're gonna get an interview soon. We we've been talking, but I feel like there's been a little bit of a space, and it's it's been breaking my. I haven't had you in an, a new song in rotation since number nine. We've always like we beg for new songs. We, I feel like I feel like we've been waiting. I just want to see where your headspace is at. You don't have to talk about a song or anything. I'm, not I'm to just get, like, breaking news out of you, but I'm just creating. I've just been making my own. Have you been trying to like find the right sound, or is it? Just I'm finding my sound. Yeah, sound? I'm just finding mine. I don't want to be like anyone else. Are you? You're a writer, though. We've talked about. That. I'm a writer, yeah, and I I I'm a perfectionist too. And that's my problem. I do you deal with a lot of writer's block too, or is it like um. Like in a you, way you write it but then you don't like it so it's that, that's my of, problem yeah i go back and I, I second guess but once i find my once i find it like i found it i've been i'm just working on it once i once i finish it it'll be well that's like uh, there's some integrity to like that artistry though because th- th- with uh, i've mentioned this in like the shaka shaka has kind of the same vibe right now where shaka doesn't put shit out at all but shaka is making some of the hardest music out here and he's just spazzing all the time but there's like this very very uh like easy way to put out music now just through soundcloud you can hit upload at any point in time but like for you to be, be able to sit back and be like well actually i need to s- make sure i want to hit up well at yeah this point in time. i i produce everything i make too everything i release is something i've i've either produced or the thing on him that's that's a different story but Still, it's an original thing from yeah. an original dude. Drama Boy, who just joined us on Periscope. Yeah, that, oh, what's up, Drama Boy? Drama Boy! Shop.spreadshirt.com slash Drama Boy, D-R-V-R-B-O-Y? D-R-V-M-B, or I don't oh, know. Oh, wait, there's an M in there, my bad. Yeah, yeah, that's, that was awful. I was a looking Drama Boy, I'm sorry, dog. I, you know I, you know I the support. The only thing that's trash about Periscope, dude, is you keep losing connection. I just keep seeing, like, oh, we're at 12, oh, and then bop. D-R-V-M-R All the time O-I. Fucking Periscope So Drummer Boy gets out here What's the first thing You, you, you do with him As far as like Sightseeing And get him Get him and, and fucked Get him fucked By Some Piece of ass here Nah just get, I don't know dude that, that was Whatever he wants to do man <laughs> <laughs> He probably wants to get Stoned he's, out of his mind I'm sure he wouldn't mind post. though Maybe go on a boat Or something Have You know has he had the Kali, Kali uh, trees yet? Nah, dude, he got some fucking Reggie. Oh. When I FaceTime and I see him smoking, <laughs> I'm like, Drama Boy, you could do a lot better, man. Drama Boy. You could do a lot better. Send some Cam emails. Cam came in here, first time meeting him, he's like, dude, check this out. It ain't no fucking Reggie. <laughs> California, man. Yeah. Hawaii. Have, Go out to Hawaii and you'll you see some shit. There. You'll see some sad shit, man. Um, do you have any upcoming tracks, or is it just the tape? And we're going to talk about the tape, if that's it. Well, I thought about previewing something on here. Okay. I mean, if you want to do that, whatever you want to do, man. Um, I but can grab the speaker. We're not going to. Oh. Ooh, ooh. That was such a fucking tease. Thought about it, but thought. we're not going to. We're, uh, we're going to wait. We're going to keep everybody That's, that's the patience, dude. The patience that he talked about. I just feel like, I mean, that. y'all heard it. It's a pretty, pretty... It's on. You should you should hold on to it, honestly. Yeah. Be I want to kind of hit one, everyone with the project and... Cause like I found my sound now, like you yeah. know I've been doing a lot of uh, diverse songs. Like oh this one's turned, this one's pretty simpy, this one's this, this one's showing off my vocals, this one's showing off that I can kind of rap. I found uh, found my in between, and I like my sound now. So we're just running with it. What do you think the tone on this project's gonna be? The tone is very vibe. I'm all about um, like obviously I care about what you say. But uh, I really like what it makes you feel, you know, like how the beat coincides with how you're using a certain type of reverb or just, I, I just want to create like an aura of vibe. Is that something you've learned through all the tracks that you've done and mm-hmm. just like songs after song? Like, yeah. is it, but now is it natural you think just to capture that aura or is the aura different depending on what you're trying to convey on a track? 
Like, hey, I don't ever know what I'm trying to... You know, I hear a See, beat. that's why it's so hard to talk to you about, like, yeah. talking about, like, naked songs, because it's literally, like, you didn't have a song 10 seconds ago, but now you have a banger, and it's... So, I feel like it's unfair to some people, but it's it's a gift, dude. It's a, it's a beautiful gift. That's what this fool said when we freestyled the song. He's like, how, I, I can't do that. And I was like, I don't know how the fuck I can. <laughs> like, you know, like... What's it like watching him do it? Because I've seen him do it a couple times, but, like, nothing, like insane like to where i was because i caught it i caught it at the end with the, the second the third track but i didn't see you spit that whole verse uh, it's it, it, it's fun to watch it just comes up with and i don't even know how to explain it it's just it, is he just bouncing ideas off of he's you? just dancing in the room just because he's saying that, shit and he's like oh, you know what that sounds good I'll, I'll throw that with the other thing i was thinking about yeah i turn out when i'm recording i have to yeah and what have you what have you seen through working with like LaShawn and working with uh I mean did, when you made that song did you guys were you guys all together working mm, on it all email I think I think 99 or 98 percent of the people working together is all email yeah all oh, this generation I mean it's just how it is you know yeah. you it's just email it is so easy to be like hey draw email but you can't over. tell that's like the crazy thing too is like the songs like even if you're producing in-house with somebody the whole time I feel yeah. like you may see the relationship in person like a, a really cool like fundamental way of establishing something like as far as like how you guys come forth of producing this product which you guys also do with drummer boy and you and that's completely through email so it's kind of weird how like our generation has like what would jeremiah taylor be like in the 80s making music dude would you just be slanging tapes on the side of the road just trying to trying to get this going i want to be popping in the 80s yeah not at all that's fair i mean no. yeah that's true i meant with like the save like situation though like just without technology like no. how hard how hard would it be to, to put out music you think hard i i, I don't know i want to be uh i want to be as experimental i guess that's like to be you know what i'm saying like yeah. i want to be able, as easy to experiment with different sounds there's a lot of lanes now you can pick and like just to feed off of all of them like back then like you know it'd be a lot harder definitely because you'd have to no instrumentation a lot more like I, I mean i could play the piano a little bit but like i'm not a fucking you know i'm not a musician i'm an artist but i'm not a, like this dude's a musician mm. and an artist you know but like i'm just an artist is it is it hard to to separate that when you're starting off you think or do you get it in your head that like you got to be a musician when you're making music did you ever have that like mentality i don't think you do because you look at half the people popping right now i don't even think they fucking yeah know. no it's very clear that like yeah. soundcloud and like just this whole generation of like internets is just kind of yeah. making this weird thing like i said if i didn't have drummer boy i don't know because like really he like i can make beats kind of you know like i'm, I'm getting better like fl studio mm -hmm. been teaching myself like but um yeah dude it's hard making beats is hard like when he's like oh i make my own shit i'm like damn dog you know like and addison when we did the mix dude i got a compliment from the producer on like your track specifically like as far as him mixing it into the rest of the mix he was like some of the biggest people were like not anywhere near is like well put together of like a percussion and everything hmm. like and just Shit, flowing nice. it in there he was like jada was the easiest track to fit into anywhere I like I, oh, I kept sick. that for the end just to put it where it could and it fit at the end he said so I love Jaden. but yeah shout out to jiggy he's a uh, volume two is coming so be on the lookout for that tight hope to be on it Dude, of course we we got you definitely i feel like there's no concert rotation mix without jeremiah taylor because you're at the beginning of all the shits like you're very much a part of this you're our first uh conversation now we're here at what i think six something so, like that man i'm just glad just slowly to, uh, chugging i'm just glad to i don't know how to put this without sounding like cocky i'm just glad to like be able to bring the people who fucked with me along on this journey because things are actually really happening whether people want to believe that or not whether people want to support me or not like i know what's happening so i'm straight mm -hmm. you know like and i just want to be able to like if my name is bigger than someone's name in some situation like as if i can bring more to the table but help that person grow that way cool man like you know what i'm saying do you see people with that same mentality out here a lot? No, there's a lot of haters out here. Do you think, is there people who have helped you grow? Other than Drummer Boy, like specifically out here? Uh, people that helped me grow out here, Jay East. Jay East uh, helped me do like some shows. Like my mm -hmm. friend Drew Billionaire. He has a central art show and that's a fucking amazing thing for this area. 100%. Uh, it's a great thing for this area. Addison helps me grow um, just by just by bouncing ideas off like he's the reason i like i've started like working on my singing singing a lot more like i didn't get to show that off in our song but like i did get to show it off on my mixtape which is great so it's like uh just arty he just tells me if it's whack or not you know 
like i don't know it's just like i'm surrounding my, myself with people who would tell me how it really is mm. so that's helped me progress and be like be more mature and be more of a professional because like what cl has explained to me like my manager cl is that um i'm a brand first and foremost like i may be an artist but jeremiah taylor is a brand yeah like i can be jeremy at home and do my private shit in private but as a brand as jeremiah taylor everything has to be cool calm collective professional it has to look good branding has to be on point visually i have to be on point like i can never be sloppy yeah. i can never look sloppy nothing can be not if i want to progress and be somebody so that's why I'm, I, I've matured a lot in, in a short amount of time is because he's instilled a lot of knowledge. A lot. CL's crazy, man. At 16 or 17, he moved to New York. Mom kicked him out. Got a mentor, worked for Def Jam or Interscope, one of those. Been uh, uh, under labels. Been He knows so many people. Like We'll be in a meeting. He'll be like, all right, I'm going to call this person for you. Call this person. Like Off tops right away. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. Like, he believes in me. He believes in the sound. He believes in everything I'm doing. And it's it's that's the reason I'm gonna go somewhere. It's honestly I, I'm gonna owe it to CL and and, and uh, YG, who are the two people that are business partners. Oh yeah, shout out to them. Yeah, it's CL's Get birthday yesterday, so happy birthday, boss. Happy birthday, man. Um, what I was thinking when you were just laying that down is going into this tape versus going into this is the year. Mm -hmm. Is there anything different that you're doing? Is it just a whole new like everything you've learned just through the other tracks and you're going yeah. through it all? And who's producing the tracks on the... Is it all Drummer Boy? No, no. Uh, I, you know, it, it's not anything against Drummer Boy. Like, obviously, he's my producer. Like, yeah. That's how I look at it. Like, he produces for other people, but Drummer Boy is my producer. And, like... 100%. That's my boy. That's my fucking... That's my brother. Like, he once he gets out here, he'll see how it is. But um, I, I just, like... Other people send me beats, and I, I felt like stop pushing other people away. Like, if it's a cool sound, it's a cool sound. But will Drummer Boy have the majority? Of course. Mm -hmm. No doubt. No doubt at all. Sweet. Yeah. Um, Sorry, we're rounding out, so I just wanted to make sure I hit all the topics. No, yeah, yeah. Before we're finally sure now we're... everyone's popping on Periscope. Oh, what's up, Periscope? Ah, connection's good. Uh, but um, there we go. Yeah, dude. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I have a lot of things. It's kind of uh, overwhelming for myself as well. Yeah, this is very impromptu. We had nothing yeah. really scripted, so I'm just trying to, you know, make sure you get out. No, yeah, I mean, you want to overwhelming do. in the sense of like all this is happening. Yeah, it's so overwhelming. It's oh, like 100. Here, here we got this like. Skinny white kid from Lake Elsinore. What does it say? Who is this guy? Who's who's this guy? <laughs> Anyways, and, and motherfucking Jeremiah Taylor. And um, God, fuck him up. Things are happening for me. Uh, being put in front of people I I never thought I'd be put in front of, like just things like that. You know, it's popping. Got you. Everything's popping. It it sounds like it, man. I appreciate you coming through. Um, you got that early flight in the morning. I do got a four AM flight. So is this your last trip? Are you are you are you staying mm -hmm. back afterwards, focusing on music? What's, uh, what's, what's uh, looking forward past this trip? Any any cool shows? Not, other not than the one on I won't be the, in this town. Yeah, I'll be hopefully moving to to L A. Even though I fucking hate L A. Yeah. Not I just it's too much overpopulated for me and mine. And um, I live in too much. Really. That's tight. Um. I don't know, dude. I'm just trying to get out mm -hmm. to grow. Yeah. Well, next time we check in, I'm sure we'll have that tape out. Uh, we'll be able to talk about it. I think the tape, I don't want to put a date on it, but I'm going to say October 1st. Probably probably okay. October 1st. We're just going to call it now October 1st. October 1st? October 1st. That's the release date? October 1st, what happened to Jeremy? Uh, the whole concept is like me transitioning into... Uh, this dude like i because in all honesty dude I, I can't even tell you who the fuck jeremy is anymore i i just been i'm jeremiah now but that's helped you become jeremiah yeah yeah exactly. that's but completely yeah i'm proud of you man yeah thanks man it's on like a non-interview level it's like a homie like i'm thanks. proud of you yeah. um i but again like the dude sitting next to me who's barely talking because i know it's he's gonna have his own interview sooner or not like mm -hmm. he's i think he's coming with so yeah yeah he, he like he they're looking at us uh, it's like they thought we were a group. So <laughs> yeah, the dudes at the Warner's thing thought we were a group. So hell yeah. Yeah, I want to. I mean, I want everyone is four plus times of the death. I mean, you know what I'm saying. Hundred like, percent. It is what it is. That man. stands for more than just four people and four four. It's not even, yeah, it's not even four yeah, people. Exactly. It's, it's a whole whoever. <clears throat> like I have kids tweeting at me, like tweeting the four plus signs. Like we, this is us, bro. Like it's like I know I'm small right now. Like no doubt. Like I'm, you know, I'm getting 
couple. I mean, I hit the hundred thousands, whatever. Like that's cool, but like, I, I can't believe I'm, I'm having like a fan base who are like tweeting at me like four plus signs. Like I'm gonna get that shit tatted. Like it's like what, dude? Like you know, like what am I doing? But whatever it is, man, let's keep it going. Hell yeah. Yeah, you know. Where do you want to tour? Pick a city. Pick pick a pick a five city tour. Five where city do you tour. San, uh, Just popping off. San questions. Diego, cause that's where that's where I'm from. Born and raised. My whole family from San Diego. Show, gotta have it. Yeah, uh, San Diego. I would love to have a, a show here if it would pop off. <laughs> if it would, I think it could if we had the right lineup. I definitely think it could. Like if we had Addison, me, Artie. Um, Addison's brothers are talented as fuck. Um, just I think a, a show would be cool, but then again, like that's what the Central Art shows for. So I kind of just leave it up to the dudes who know what they're doing. I don't know yeah. how to throw a show, so I want to. I'm trying to get Addison to be on the, the art show. So he should be. Yeah. Out. Um, I don't know, man. Yeah, that's we're getting drumming boy to California operation. Get yeah, we're getting boy to California. California. There's just like there's so much that I can't talk about that I wish I could. No worries, man. You know, so this was literally thrown together. Yeah, yeah. out of nowhere, but it's just like it's like one of those things like. It's like dude on Periscope Like who's this dude Who's this like It's cool man Like I'm gonna get that All day long I still get it Like who's this dude From the city Trying to be an artist You're gonna get that From a small town But just It's cool man Like I said I don't have to say much We're doing things And the real people Know what's up 100% Alright um, Tell me where they can find you man SoundCloud Twitter All that shit uh, SoundCloud.com Slash Jeremiah Taylor Music Right um, now Just dropped recently Right now um, right, it was before that. Honestly, man, I might fuck around and drop a track tomorrow. Okay. I might fuck around and drop some. Uh, let's see. You know what? Check this out. We're gonna drop some September first. Sounds good. We're gonna drop some September first. Give it a <laughs> month to build up. Uh, and we're gonna drop the tape October first. And I'm gonna have to tell CL all this right after this. And um. <laughs> Sorry, CL. And and Derek and let him know what the fuck he's up. And um. Yeah, dude, just, just, it's, it's happening. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's gonna happen. So that's, it's that simple. That's what we were getting to. That was the reason getting you in this room to have a conversation. Yeah. Before. Let, let us know what the fuck's happening before it actually starts happening. Yeah. And like, you just, guys know off, off mm -hmm. the air yeah. what's we know going what's down. Up. So let's cool. just let everyone, uh, hate or do whatever they want to do, support. Um, and let's just run. We're giving you as many opportunities as possible uh, to, yeah, to dude, not I'm be late to, to the party before it is too late. But, um, Addison, where can they find you, man? All the sounds <clears throat> by Addy. Um, it's soundcloud.com slash Addison Rice Music. Then Twitter is, Twitter and IG is Addison Maxwell. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yes, um, Jaded Bad featuring this guy. Cam, where they, can they find you, man? Uh, Twitter at, at the name on there, Football Lisa McD. IG at Cam McD. But it's good. I don't really. Y'all y'all gotta find me as good. Nah. <laughs> find Cam. Let him know. Let him know his, that side of his face isn't as good as the other one. Let him know all the shit that, all his weird mannerisms from sitting here. But thanks for coming by, man. I appreciate oh, it. Course. Sitting in is always fun. I appreciate uh, it, man. Jaded. Right now, those are the two most recent tracks by these guys. Um, one will be an intro track, one will be an outro track. I'm sure we'll figure it out off air. But um, I want to thank you guys for listening. This has been another in rotation conversation. Consultation.com, consultation.com slash artist of the week. We got Art Watson in there. We just dropped a track this morning, uh, Empire Freestyle. You can find me, Garrett, Gert, Yo Gert, whatever. Um, Twitter.com slash Yo Gert. Um, SoundCloud.com, consultation. New in rotation compilation on Monday. We got a new after the previews uh, podcast going live tonight. And uh, we just had a Rich, uh, Rich Uno interview go live this morning, so go yeah. fuck with that. Um, and uh, we're gonna get high, so yeah, later, guys. Um, <laughs>
was so sad, so sad. I saw the old me, fat real me, you know. The only late night pill popping with the homies. The only fell in love with a blonde bitch. That's why she really know me. She pop all these uppers as it goes down. Need a good girl, don't bring them hoes round. I need a good girl, don't bring them hoes round. You Tristan Thomas always up the rebound. Tears